Hello YouTube, this is Mr. Michaels 1000. I know it's been a while. I haven't uploaded any videos lately, but it's been very busy with school, lots of homework. You know, um, school's been hard. But um, I am coming to you today with a video on how to change your voice in Skype or anywhere that you can change the audio input um, to something besides audio line in. Um, What's going to be, um, it's going to be very simple it's for Macs only, but um, it's pretty simple and if you just follow my instructions, you'll be up and running with this very fast. Um, so first what you're going to want to do is go on straight to your internet browser, um, search Soundflower. Uh, you're going to want to go to, let's see, Soundflower. So Soundflower softonic com that one and then you're gonna click download and I will get back when I'm done with that okay and we're back so what you're gonna gonna want to do now is um, just search uh, garage band there's some spot spotlight and you hit enter and you're gonna open the application here we go and it'll automatically create a new document for me you want it to be a voice document I believe real, re, no a real instrument document and then you add real instrument and you delete this one with just command delete like that and then you're gonna wanna go to podcasting or vocals um, deeper vocals, whatever you prefer, whatever you want it to be, and um, then, well actually, you have to uh, go into your preferences for the application, and go to audio slash MIDI, 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 I don't know, um, then you get, well, it would have been, it would have been, uh, built-in output or system settings, I don't remember which one, but you're going to want to change it to Soundflower 2 channel, and it'll ask you, and it'll take a second, and then and then it'll work. And you then you leave audio input the same, and you don't change anything else. Um, so once you've done that, you just X out of here, and then you change this where it says monitor. It won't work unless you do this, and you change it to um, on, no feedback protection. If you turn it on, just on, it, it doesn't work very well and you can't hear yourself as well, or the other person can't hear you as well if you're video chatting with them or whatever. So now you're going to want to um, open uh, something such as Skype or whatever, and then you go to the preferences in that and select um, for audio options, you select Soundflower 2 channel because it will, it will allow you to do that. And then you, uh, then you call your friend and, and you change it to deeper vocals or or um, helium breath, or, or you know, th those are my two favorites. But um, you do one of those, or anything in here, or any anything in the whole thing, in the whole selection, and it changes your voice. It sounds um, actually really good, and I will put an example of it at the end of the video. Um, but yeah, that's that's really all you have to do. It's really quite simple, and. It's a great way to play pranks on your friends, and if you join like voice chats, you can goof around with people and make them like just tell them your voice dropped really low or I don't know whatever. Um, yeah, so yeah, I will be coming out with some new videos also pretty soon of me mountain biking. Those are videos from the summer in which one of them I smashed my head into a tree, but let's not talk about that and. Yeah, stay tuned, and uh, some new videos will be out soon. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Okay, bye. Yeah, so this is what I sound like with deeper vocals on, and this is what I sound like. With helium breath, and this is what I sound like. As a gospel choir, apparently. I don't know. Um, yeah, just mess around with it. So Sometimes there's really good stuff in here. Just look through it, you'll find something fun. I like deeper vocals the best because it sounds awesome, but yeah. Um, Alright, uh, thanks for watching. Okay, bye.